Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. And I'm Brittany, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about our car preparedness kits. I have one of these kits in my car, and a lot of my friends and family do also. These kits are designed if you have a vehicular breakdown. You should always have a pair of jumper cables in your car, ice scraper, and maybe some food and water. But these items go above and beyond in emergencies. We are off to do some late night survival kit shopping. All right, let's get into this. As you can see here, we have two different boxes. This is the size we normally use for all of our car preparedness kits. And the reason that I have two boxes today is I wanted you to see that this is a nice small size. This is an iris container. It's a 12.9 quart. We get these at Costco on a four pack. These are great because they have snap clickable sealable lids. They're not waterproof or watertight but they're water resistant and they do seal shut. Everything we do fits really nicely in here, which means you got plenty of room in your car for other things. So it isn't too burdensome, it is packable. It, this is a 16 and a half long by 10.9 inches wide by six and a half deep. The reason that we have the larger box today, also from Costco, is because one of our good friends has requested one of these that I just built. And the reason is, is he wants the kit as normal, but with a little bigger box to put more things on top, like his jumper cables, like additional items. And this still isn't that that big, but it is quite a bit bigger than this. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the container itself. Obviously, containers are huge when you unbox your kit. You can use these for food procurement, water, storage, uh, moving things uh, from one site to another. And all my kits, when I do them, I include a full packing list that I put on top of the kit. Every item is listed with its category, combustion, cordage, what its, what its purpose is. So let's do our unboxing, and this is gonna be in no certain order. Just as I take the items out, I'll discuss them with you. The first thing we're gonna pull out of here is some um, camo bungees. And this is six camo bungees, and these are from Harbor Freight. I like these because they have real metal under the plastic coating here. In this pack, there's two 22 inchers, two 28 inchers, and two 32 inchers. And I just got them rolled up for packability. These are great for your shelter um, to go with the tarp that we also have in this kit. Also from Harbor Freight, because this is a vehicular breakdown focus, I have a tow strap. This tow strap has got a 2,160 pound tensile strength. So the reason I like these hook style is because everybody typically on their vehicles has those tow hooks um, or uh, clevises and you can just clip right onto them. And this is uh, 15 foot long by one and a three quarter wide. So that's a good size strap that's very, fairly packable. The next item we have here is the uh, Adventure Medical First Aid 1.0. This is a great first aid kit. We're going to do a review of this first aid kit as well. It's separate video. This is a great first aid kit for one to two people and it comes with some non-common items like survival based, uh, like a button compass and a howler whistle. Uh, it also has nice tick tweezers in it. So that's a great comprehensive kit. It also comes with some good basic meds um, in it as well that a lot of kits don't. So that, that's a great item to have. Then I have the good old uh, cordage, uh, paracord, 550 pound tensile strength, 550 cord, we called it in the military. And I got 40 yards of that. I burnt the end so it doesn't fray out. Obviously you can do traps, snares, um, you can make lash uh, with this, do repairs and for your shelter. So we've got some good cordage. We always think of truckers having these. We've all seen cars and trucks broken down on the side of the road with the flares. This is a great item to have. I uh, got this at Walmart, pretty inexpensive. It's a three pack uh, with three flares. These are 15 minute road flares. These things are great for obviously fire starting or combustion, but for signaling and marking when you do have a breakdown. So they're, they're multi-purpose. So those are great to have. Then I've got a one and a quarter pound hatchet and I believe that's 14 inches long. This is a plastic hand, uh, fiberglass handle. This is multi-purpose. We got a hammering side, we got a chopping side. Weapon for self-defense, procuring firewood, and we can hammer with it as well. And it's really packable. Got that from Walmart. Harbor Freight has been having a hard time getting these in. They were uh, $7.99 at Harbor Freight. This is just under 10 bucks, a little bit more from Walmart. Similar uh, quality hatchet. Next item is I always want a good, if you've seen some of our, our other videos, bug out bag videos and so on, you always want a good 
steel full tang survival knife. This is an inexpensive version. There's a lot better quality ones out there. This is from Walmart, it's Ozark Trail. It's got a little serrated air area here. It's a drop point and it has cordage on it as well. So that's nice, comes with its own sheath. Also comes with a ferrocerium rod with handle. Another item that I really always want to have in any of my kits, um, space prohibitive in some of the tins, is a good multi-tool. This one's a multi-tool that I sought out. It's off walmart.com. It has the items that I really want for a, a pretty low price point. But we've got wire cutters, we've got pliers, spring-loaded pliers, and the things that I really want in a multi-tool is I want pliers, knife blade of course, saw blade, and I want a wood and metal file. For the price, it's great for a car preparedness kit. Um, if you haven't seen my 10 C's of survival preparedness, watch that because there's a lot more cutting options in that for you to consider. We also have a folding saw. This is from Walmart, Ozark Trail as well. Nice, nice medium tooth folding saw. And um, this is really gonna get the job done. Uh, for firewood procurement, if you need to build a shelter, just a lifesaver. I mean, you could use this for processing game as well. So that's a great item. And I think that's under 10 bucks as well. Pulling saw for the car preparedness kit. Because time and motion studies prove that a hatchet that you chop with uses more energy than a saw to cut through the same size diameter item. This is a sealant and inflator in one compressed air and there's this gunk in here that finds your puncture hole in your tire and seals it. We should all have a spare tire already. You should already have your jumper cables and your window scraper, but this is great to have in the car preparedness kit. I also have two six hour green chem lights and these are great to have for obvious reasons, signaling, marking, illumination. You can actually read by these. So those are both uh, great to have in this kit. Those are in the illumination or candling category. I always put zip ties, and this is a bigger kit, so I can get away with uh, higher tensile strength zip ties and larger zip ties. So these are an 11 inch, 75 pound strength zip tie. You can fit bigger, better zip ties in bigger kits like this. You can even go bigger than this. These are really handy, as we all know, for securing equipment, making repairs, only limited by your imagination on those. So four zip ties, got a nice quality headlamp for hands-free use. Got these from Costco on a three pack, which make these extremely cost effective. These are a really good um, headlamp. They've got a real bright light, multi-function. You see all the settings. They've got a nice red setting for red lens for, for tactical to dampen your lighting if you don't want to be spotted easily. And it's got side lights. I mean, this thing is it's gonna illuminate a trail. And it's good hands-free and adjustable. We have a super warmer, all right? Uh, this is an 18 hour super warmer. We've all seen the hand warmers. This is just a lot bigger size. So it's really, I mean, you can put that back on your kidney area. If you're getting hypothermic, you can put this on your hands, uh, put it in your shoe, whatever. This is an 18 hour, so that's a great item. And then I always like to have, for hygiene or comfort items, some baby wipes. And this is the Equate brand from Walmart, under a buck for 18 baby wipes. It's a good thing to have, of course, as these things sit, they will dry out, so you want to rotate stock. If you have room, like I've upgraded the box size for my buddy here, my smaller box wouldn't have room, but you can always have a full roll of toilet paper, highly recommended as well. I've got a tarp. This is a heavy duty, seven mil thick, brown on one side, green on the other, 10 by 12 tarp. I don't like going too small because if you're needing to make a shelter and maybe you're gonna tie into your, your vehicle, you can do a lean to off your vehicle. You can uh, use these bungee cords to do it off of foliage around you, uh, but that's great to have. This can be a ground cloth as well. You can drag stuff on this. Um, so that's great to have and a, a nice sturdy tarp like that when you have the room. Another item we have here is that good contractor trash bag, three mil and hefty, uh, heavy duty trash bag. That baby's really thick. Again, another form of a container. Uh, you can use that as a ground cloth. You could um, fashion a poncho out of that if you needed to. You can haul stuff in it. Also very flammable. This is my grab and go uh, box within the car preparedness kit. And this has some smaller items. Um, that hit a lot of the tendencies of survival preparedness. Plus it's another form of a container. This is the Plano 3400. The reason I choose this container is because it has a gasket in here and this is waterproof. 
All right, let's go ahead and unbox this grab and go kit that's within the car preparedness kit. As you can see here, these really clip that nice and tight. One of the reasons I love this box by Plano. And I do something to this box that kind of makes it tough to close and it's this candle. You see I have a pinch there and that's okay. All right, so in no certain order here, you see I have a piece of wet fire tinder and that's in the combustion category. Really good for inclement weather fire starting. We have a box of 40 Coleman waterproof matches. There's a lot of high-end weatherproof, stormproof, waterproof matches out there. This is a less expensive brand for a car preparedness kit. You see it just has coated heads. You gotta use the striker on the side of the box for those to light. We want redundancy, especially with fire starting and anything we do. And so we also have the good old fashioned big lighter other than matches, that's our primary. You get a ton of lights, that's a full size Bic lighter. If you have not seen uh, the video of what we do to uh, improve our Bic lighter for survival, please watch that video. You'll see how we do the process to this with uh, Tinder and take the clip off of that lighter in case it gets wet. We will link the video below uh, for how we prep these lighters for survival and make them better. And here we have, this is kind of a hygiene comfort item. Uh, but this is a packable towel by UST, and this expands to 12 by 24 when it gets wet, and it is reusable. I mean, eventually they will tear. They're paper-based, but it's a great item you can use for evaporative cooling and hygiene. And then in the cordage category, in addition to our bungee cord zip ties and 550 cord, we have a roll of waxed dental floss, that's 55 yards. And this is great for stitching and repairing your gear and clothing items as needed, as well as emergency sutures if needed. And here's that ferrocerium rod that I think I talked about uh, that comes with that knife that I put in this mini kit with handle. And of course you could use your survival knife the 90 degree edge of that as your striker uh, to cause spark. Uh, to get your tinder to light. Then we've got a mini sharpie for recording, multiple uses. Same thing with that golf pencil, golf pencil for uh, recording and uh, you could use it for tinder. Then we've got the SOL Slim Rescue Howler Whistle. These things are really loud for signaling. Really loud and really kind of piercing. And then right here we have the ferrocerium rod on this side, which we already have here for redundancy. And this is the magnesium block. And this is from Harbor Freight. I think this is under two bucks. This is a great deal. So you've got a scraper side and a saw side. Um, this thing's great and very inexpensive. Also in the combustion category, we have a beeswax 12 hour candle from Yuko. And that has a 12 hour burn time. That provides some illumination if needed. It's in the candling category. And you can use it for warming uh, in a closed space. Can raise the, uh, the temperature in a closed space up to 20 degrees depending on various conditions so that's a great item to have and then we got the old button compass uh, for cardinal directions and navigation and then we've got two things here um, I've got gorilla tape here um, that it tw uh, about two feet of gorilla tape and I wrap it on the outside of this mylar blanket plastic so we can get it off it makes it usable and easy to pull uh, a portion off and save the rest or whatever so it doesn't stick to something else it comes off that plastic pretty good and this is a mylar space blanket we used to call them this one you can get them with colors this one's silver on both sides uh, this is going to definitely help you with uh, body heat retention you can't use it as a ground cloth you can use it for signaling this is a 52 by 82 inch uh, thermal blanket very packable very compact another great item here is a fresnel lens this is in the combustion category uh, you can use the solar rays of the sun magnify those to start char cloth or paper and get it to light and you can you can read by this it's got a ruler uh, two-sided ruler uh, centimeters on one side inches on the other side another item in the cutting category steel razor blade two two inch black subdued safety pins you can make cravats you can make repairs with these repair clothing and fasten things paper clips uh, you can fashion those into tools using that metal file on our on our multi-tool lock picks handcuff keys little rudimentary spears and here we have an acrylic signal mirror from coughlin 
Um, got this at Walmart, couple bucks, great deal. This does float. You can examine yourself if you're by yourself to do some sort of a wound repair. You know, maybe you got a tooth issue or something going on in your eye. Um, you can see that. And then a couple more things here. We've got a darning needle. I think that's a two and a half inch heavy duty needle uh, to make those gear repairs and stitching I talked about with the dental floss as needed. And then we've got three pieces of right in the rain stormproof paper to allow you to write even when it's wet with your golf pencil. Your Sharpie will work while it's dry, but once there's water droplets, this will smear. But hey, maybe you gotta leave a note on your vehicle after you leave. You could use this as tinder. So this is a great high-end uh, right in the rain paper. So that kit's pretty comprehensive. And that concludes our, our car kit. I hope you enjoyed our video. Yes, there's a lot more items we could put in here. You're only limited by your imagination and space, but these are some really good quality items that hit a lot of the 10 C's of survival preparedness with a vehicle breakdown focus. Be watching for our next video soon. It's gonna be my Gray Man Elite Bug Out Bag. Thanks for joining us on Life in the North 40. Don't forget to like and subscribe.